Hello and welcome to Tennis Works TV on Monday the 30th of May 2011 with myself John Cavill, the Director of Tennis at Tennis Works. Here's a brief roundup of the latest news in the world of tennis. World number two, Novak Djokovic, has achieved 40 straight wins this year and no losses after he completed a 6-3, 3-6, 6-3, 6-2 win after Juan Martin Del Potro on Saturday at Roland Garros. This takes Djokovic to joint third in the all-time list with John McEnroe with 42 straight wins from the start of his amazing run of form at the Davis Cup final back in December. Four seed Andy Murray has reached the Roland Garros fourth round for the third straight year, but he had to overcome an ankle injury to beat Michael Berra of Germany 6-2, 6-3, 6-2. Murray required lengthy treatment at 2-1 in the second set after he rolled his right ankle chasing down a drop shot. On the resumption of play, he continued to outclass the world number 95 and eventually wrapped up his 16th win of the year in 2 hours and 7 minutes. Defending champion Rafael Nadal kept alive his bid to become just the second man in history to win six Roland Garros titles when he defeated qualifier Antonio Berch 6-1, 6-3, 6-0. Nadal allowed the world number 227 only seven points in the first set, but despite struggling on serve and conceding a couple of breaks in the second set, he regained control by hitting numerous ground stroke winners. Australian pair Ashley Fisher and Stephen Huss knocked out third seeds and two-time former titleists Mahesh Bhupti and Leander Pays, 7-6, 6-4 on Saturday. Fisher and Huss dropped just seven points on their services against the Indian duo for victory in one hour and 32 minutes. It was their 12th tour level team win of their partnership. With the top two seeds in the women's draw at Roland Garros out, this adds to the excitement of who will win the title. Daniela Hanchikova defeated the reigning number one on Friday afternoon after stunning Caroline Wozniacki in the third round. It took only one hour and 13 minutes to win 6-1, 6-3 after the two players each held their opening service games. Hanchikova went on to win nine straight games for a 6-1, four-love lead before finally closing the match out. The number two seed, Kim Kleister's shocking loss to Antracht Bruce in the second round of, on Thursday was the first time since 2004 that one of the top two seeds lost prior to the third round at Roland Garros as Bruce won the match 3-6, 7-5, 6-1. Victoria Azarenka's dream of winning her Grand Slam title is getting closer after a dominant third round win on Friday with a 6-3, 6-2 win over number 30 seed Roberta Vinci. Vinci played very well, but Azarenka was just that much better with 20 winners and only 10 errors. In the women's doubles, Dolko and Panetta moved through to the fourth round as they defeated Arani and Vinci 6-4-6-2. Looking ahead to this week. The second Grand Slam of the year goes into its second week as those who have made it through to the fourth round battle it out for the ultimate clay court title. In Nottingham, UK, the Aegon Trophy and Aegon Nottingham Challenger is running as the grass court season kicks off. And the top ITF juniors take to the red clay at Roland Garros with the singles main draw having 64 players competing. Let me keep you informed about forthcoming Tennis Works events. We have two live webinars coming up in June. The first is on Wednesday the 15th of June titled Exploring Junior Player Development with guest presenter Phil Hill. 
Join Phil as he shares with us his thoughts, observations and understanding of player development within tennis and the many elements combined around a player's personality and preferences. Phil is currently the head of 10 and under player potential at Every Ball Tennis Academy at Holton Tennis Club and a coaching consultant to the Cavill Academy ran by Tennis Works. He has previously worked at the Dira Tennis Academy top team in Barcelona, working with ATP and WTA ranked players and world class juniors. You can register your place on this seminar now by visiting www.tennisworks.net. The second live webinar is on Tuesday the 21st of June, titled Coaching the Subconscious Mind, with guest presenter Peter Farthing. Join Peter as he shares his insight gained from developing skills and qualifications in neuro-linguistic programming and clinical hypnosis, alongside his work as a tennis coach and in game tennis tutor. He will be explaining some of the tools and techniques of NLP that helped him to supercharge his tennis coaching, create faster, easier and more comfortable learning for players of all standards. Again, you can register for your place on this webinar now by visiting www.tennisworks.net. Our next live seminar, titled Cardio Tennis, is on Monday the 4th of July with guest presenter Nigel Long. Nigel has been involved in tennis for over 25 years and as a PCA coach and master tutor for the LTA. He works with players and coaches at all levels and has a wealth of experience in delivering community and schools coaching programs as he grew his own business from coaching three players in a park to eventually running several centres and employing teams of coaches coaching over 1,000 players per week. He is also a consultant to the Tennis Foundation former USPTR Pro of the Year and was an LTA Coach of the Year finalist. Cardio Tennis is a fun fitness based tennis product and during this seminar Nigel will be guiding the coaches on how to structure this high energy tennis workout which is delivered to music through fast paced drills. They will also receive and learn new ideas for warm ups, drills, how to use a heart rate monitor and ideas for increasing revenue by using cardio tennis in the club program. You can register your place on this seminar now by visiting www.tennisworks.net. Please go to tennisworks.net today where you can register for your free membership for one month. Whether you're a coach, player, parent, enthusiast, assistant or involved in tennis in any way, tennisworks.net is a one-stop shop all your tennis development and education.